Did Frost really cheat? Well, I just logged into Facebook today and I found Frost all over my newsfeed. Many fans think that Frost didn't really cheat against Goku and Piccolo because the poisoning ability is a part of his body or is an authentic technique that he has which doesn't break the rules of the tournament in any way. So basically, they're trying to imply it's just a technique like that of Botamo's ability to take any attack and transform it to another dimension and not be hurt or like Kamehameha wave. As we know, when Frost was accused of cheating that he poisoned his opponents, he didn't deny doing it but rather raised his hands and declared that it's not cheating because that is a part of his body. So the, this entire opinion of Frost not cheating rose from there. That is, people believe Frost didn't cheat simply because Frost said so. The same guy who claimed who fights for good and end wars, he is just like the politicians of our world, they act like they're good create fake terrorist group, make them attack their own country to gain rights to attack back. He played us all so bad and you still believe his words seriously dude? Now you might say all those are irrelevant, we saw poison pouring out of Frost's hand and and he clearly has it. Look Frost does have that poison or that thing that he uses to stun his opponents. But here you have to understand why the referee disqualified him. The referee primarily disqualified Frost because Frost modified his body part and did something with that needle to make it easier to attack his opponents. It's like athletes using steroids, they, they have abilities but they use illegal methods to enhance it and thus get punished when caught. So in short, yes, Frost did cheat. The Frost claimed it's a part of his body, the referee debunked his claim and stated that he clearly modified his body and thus disqualified him. However, in episode 35 of Dragon Ball Super, we will see Vegeta vs Frost and the episode is coming out at 20th of March. I already made a video predicting what might happen in the Vegeta vs Frost match and what might he have to do with that. Check the link in the description below if you want to watch. That's all for now. And of course, if you want daily Dragon Ball updates, subscribe to my amazing channel and be in touch.